What's your name? Jordan. And yours? Parma. Parma? Is that like short for Carmen or? No, it's just karma. You know like the thing where if you do something terrible to me then I have to be a bitch to you? Except it's spelled with a C. Cool, cool. You okay? You look a little rough. I had a long night last night. Went to a party. I can't remember any of it. Must be I had a good time. Probably too much of a good time. Maybe. If it's not too much trouble, do you mind if I make a few stops before I take you home? I have some minor business I have to handle. I don't care. I'm not in much of a rush. What was that? What the hell? Sleep? You look even more tired now. Uh, I guess I dozed off for a little bit. Try not to fall asleep too much. You're gonna miss all the fun. Okay. 
just two more quick stops and I'll take you home, okay? Okay. So, who did you go to that party with last night? Oh, uh, well, my friend Cody. He got invited by one of his friends. He got invited by another guy. He got invited by another guy. So I'm one of those. I knew we got, knew we got type deal, so. And you can't remember anything you did? Well, let's hope you didn't do anything too wild. You know, something that may come back to haunt you someday. Nervous, Jordan. Do I make you uncomfortable? Um, I mean. You know what I hate more than anything else in the world, Jordan? People. They're vile, disgusting creatures with no regard for anyone or anything but themselves. They don't believe in decency, and 99% of them are pretty fucking irresponsible. And you want to know what makes these people double their amount of fucked up behavior? Do you know, Jordan? Do you fucking know? No! I don't fucking know! Alcohol would be the correct answer, you little bitch! I would expect someone like you to know that. I can only imagine what's going through your mind right now. You're fucking crazy! I am not crazy! This is completely logical! You just killed somebody, how the hell is that logical? Shh. Be patient! In about five minutes this will all make sense. After this last stop, I promise you'll never have to hear or see from me again. I hope you're ready, Jordan. This is the grand finale. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? This is Cody's house. Listen, I don't know what happened or what I did to you or what he did to you, but can we talk this out? Sorry, but I'm afraid talking is no longer an option. I'm gonna make you feel my pain. Show. What the fuck is your problem? What did he do to you? What did any of us do to you, you crazy bitch? I am not crazy. What, you just think I woke up this morning and said, hey, how about today I go shoot some people? Get on your knees, Jordan. I have a story to tell you. Are you fucking deaf? I said get on your knees. Better. Now for my story. You might not know me, Jordan, but I know you. I saw you last night at the party. That's right, I was there. What? I saw you and your two drunk buddies leave with my best friend. I tried to push through the crowd to stop her from leaving, but I didn't make it in time. And when I tried to call her cell phone, she wouldn't pick up. I walked for hours trying to find her. I walked in the backwoods, and you know what I saw? I saw her lying there motionless with her clothes all torn up. The doctor said her cause of death was alcohol poisoning, but they also said she had been raped. Did you rape my friend, Jordan? I, I didn't mean... I'm sorry, I... You are sorry, but unfortunately sorry just isn't enough. Give me one reason why I shouldn't empty this clip into you right here, right now. Because killing me isn't gonna bring your friend back. You're right, it won't. But you'll be one less fucked up alcoholic the world has to worry about. Goodbye, Jordan. 